Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to From Season 1, Episode 3. This is an episode request from someone on Patreon. Thank you, you know who you are. I appreciate it. I've enjoyed the first two episodes so, so, so much. It's, I can't wait to see what happens. I love a good mystery and it's just like, I need answers. I love supernatural stuff. I love creepy, dark stuff. It's all this stuff. And I have a lot of questions. Not many answers still. So, um, hopefully some more this episode. Maybe at least one answer. Just one. I just want one answer. One answer an episode or I'm good. I don't care if I get ten more questions. Just as long as I get one answer. Uh, I'm still learning the cast and the characters and learning their names. It's a lot of people. Big cast, so sorry if I don't know their names. I might just have to be like that person, that lady. Hopefully you'll understand. <laughs> uh... It'll take a while. Probably by the end of the first season, I'll know the names. Mostly. Hopefully. Can't promise. Alright, but as usual, please don't forget to go check out Patreon, link down below in the description. If you want to get this episode fully uncut, unedited, just me and the reaction, me and the episode right here, with nothing covering it, nothing. Nada. So go check it out, okay? Uh, I still don't quite know if I'm going to put all of these up on YouTube yet, my From Reactions. I'm at least putting episode one and two. Uh, this one, probably two. I don't know after this, though. It depends on views and what, if people even care about it on YouTube after the first, like, three episodes. I think that should be a good sign to be like, okay, does it, anyone care about it? If not, it's just going to become Patreon ex exclusive, just on Patreon, so I don't have to worry about editing it and uploading, because that takes a lot of time. Definitely these longer episode shows. So, just make my life easier if I don't need to. But if you guys like it on YouTube, I will keep going. I'll, every time I watch these every month, I will upload them to YouTube once I'm done. Okay? So, so yeah. Also, if you go to Patreon, you know, you also get Patreon exclusive shows. As I mentioned, this could become one. Uh, the Bear is one that's possibly going to become during Season 2. That's going to become a uh, Patreon exclusive. But you also get Pox and Recreation, Attack on Titan. Uh, I just finished Broadchurch Season 1. There's a lot of good stuff on there that's only on Patreon, not on YouTube. So go check that out if you want. description. It's in the description box down below the link, okay? And there's new cheaper prices right now if you're watching so, just so you know, I just load the prices on some of them just to be a little, like, a little sale time for a little while until I figure out what prices I want to keep them at. But for now, go check it out, okay? Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this, and without further ado, let's just get right into it, okay? Here we go. Look at what you did! Look at no! I would definitely, if I was in this town, nail down all of the windows, all of everything, besides, like, the one door and then bolt it at night tree in the middle of the road the definitely if you had down. children if you had children i'd be like god make seal it up tight <laughs> make it to colony house run as fast as you can no matter colony house why did i think it was something else colony house he really smacked his head though that hasn't happened in a long long time what do you think it means yeah there are things you what is wrong with that guy too Oh, they're just doing it right there in front of everyone. Um, maybe the family with the children shouldn't be staying here. Definitely right there. Okay. Nightmare. Fair. Honestly, completely fair. You guys notice the people fucking like 10 feet from you? Toby! Oh god, what was that? Somebody get me out of this fucking thing! Hey! Toby! Uh, Toby! Anybody fucking. Hey, oh, shut the uh, fuck up, people that turn this late! Fuck are you? Oh god. <sighs> Sorry. Jesus. <laughs> Came in running. <laughs> we picked one hell of a time to finally wake up. I know, I really. I don't know what's going on here. All right. You get me out of these fucking stress. Stop shouting. Calm down. Where to God? I'm what? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Do you have any idea who I am? No one cares. Oh, shit, you're one of those. <laughs> what? He is one of those. You could tell. Let's start at the beginning. <laughs> I feel like I'd survive pretty well 
in this town. I don't need windows. I don't need sunlight. I'm pretty good in the dark. I live in a basement. I have two little windows that I've covered up with blackout curtains. So, I'm pretty good. I, I can survive down here for quite some time, only coming up for sun every once in a while. What? What was that about? At least you know in the jail cell you're very safe. It's important for you to understand that what happens tonight... Tonight? It's not personal. What's happening tonight? I know. It's like a trial? She always liked you. She said you were hard on people because you had to be. You do, in these situations. The decisions other people couldn't. Mm. It's gotta be that person. Definitely in this kind of situation. I wasn't always like this, you know. None of us were. Yeah. This kind of thing changes you, either for the good or for the bad. If there's anything you need, anyone you want to see, maybe, tie up loose ends. Yeah, they're about to, like, hang them, aren't they? I'm in a town. I can't leave. Yep. And that every night when the sun goes down, monsters come from the forest. Exactly. To hunt us. Yep. Killed my friend the other night. Yeah. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Fuck off. Let him go out. Let him die, honestly. Where did he, where did he find you? He? Oh, Toby, are, are you guys individual? Oh my high? god, they think this, he thinks it's like, oh my. Play the whole thing pretty great. I buy it. it. Not him so, I just, I thought you were trying a little bit too hard. But oh my god, I, <laughs> this dick. <laughs> Bravo, oh, money well spent. So, uh, okay, so what's next? <sighs> Is there a... Go let him take a car and drive around the loops for a while. You know, check out the town, turn over a few stones. <laughs> Fucking Toby. This must have cost a fortune. Oh my god, he's an idiot. You want me to keep an eye on him? No. He'll figure Let it him out. Let wander around town for a while. Yeah. I have enough to deal with him. <laughs> yeah. He'll figure the shit out eventually. Whether he dies because of it, we'll see. It's not quite my Jack and Eddie, but... Uh... It'll do. Oh, God. Oh, perfect. Is that for me? No. You hey, do you, uh, do you have anything motorized? Like a scooter or something? Um, no. You no. just <laughs> took this lady's <laughs> bike. Thank you. That's my... <laughs> he is insane. He's living in his own world. Oh, and this kid is just there the whole time staring at him? That's creepy. Second, I thought it was, the boy was him, but he does look a little different, but very similar. Honey, you need to stay in bed a little longer. I'm tired of staying in bed. I know, but... And I don't like these pajamas. <laughs> your dad went to the RV to get our stuff, so tonight you're going to sleep in your own pajamas. Yay. So all should have gone. Well, we oh. thought it was best if dad went on his own. Well, I don't like people going through my stuff. Uh, what do you have in there? Yeah, okay. How long are we going to be here? Forever. Uh, How do you explain that to a child that you're stuck here? So they're making eggs. Do you want some eggs? Hobo eggs? No. What are hobo no, no, eggs? No, no hobo eggs, but they have. So weird. Stop staring. And he waves back. I don't like that. Too many things are done. Just a few minutes, you have to close the door. Can you see how many things are done? Oh, your husband just died, lady. You could take a day off. Ah, oh, I hate that. Yeah. People will understand. Yeah, you would have died too. And it's all your fault, bitch. You're the reason why her husband and his dad died. Mm. 
What are you, man? What what are you up to? What is that? It's like a little rock and what is it a map? You're trying to hide it? Berries? I'm okay. You gotta eat something eventually. I have an apple tree out back if you prefer that. I prefer apples. I don't like berries. Hot take, I just don't like berries. The seeds, the texture. Supermarkets around here are terrible, so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're joking. Yeah, you think? I heard you were getting a little itchy, so. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Oh, he is a cute little kid. Dad. Oh, let's see, maybe there's one. Maybe I can find something. Oh, wait a minute. We have oh books. fun what do we want do we want adventures of the grand gulagog gulagog huh? <laughs> interesting like that no julie look we got our stuff yeah so i see Come here. it's got to be harder for her because she actually knows what's going on but she's still very young the boy doesn't. Hey, uh, it's been a day. Uh, Father Cockchase here. For two days, maybe. The choosing ceremony. The choosing. What, what's the choosing ceremony? What? I'll let him. All newcomers have to decide where they're going to live. Oh, okay. Or down in the town. It's just part of how we do things here. Why? I'd like to take the both of you, show you around. Get a tour. Maybe take you to the house. Would you choose the town? Well, I want to come. That's fair. She's older. She should be Why? allowed. Teenager. This is about all of us, right? I want to see. Family decision. Just stay here and be with Okay. Fine. You guys go ahead. Yeah. Teenagers. We won't be going long. Okay. I think she should be allowed to go. Leave her alone. I think it's very important that both of you see this. It's going to be okay. She's a tough kid. Because if you're all alone in the house, you're all alone. No. But you have your own space. Here you have tons of people, all this stuff, community. But you have to stay in a room, open room with all these other people having sex 10 feet away. Good morning, everybody. What's cooking today, huh? He is <laughs> crazy. Is this where I find my next? Where the monsters jump from the shadows? Uh, oh, what wonders will avail themselves in these this people are little... like could not care less he's like dude in which my guard hath fallen huh did some summer stock back in the day not bad right okay oh, thank you i'm starved what do we got just gonna skip the line oh, look i'm all for authenticity but i'm also really hungry and since y'all basically work for me anyway so it's kind of wow bad, so. ow what the <laughs> you thought you pie do ya <laughs> Hi, do ya? All right, jeez. People really take all this seriously. Cause it's real dipshit. What are you doing here? You gotta continue as normal. Just you stay home. If I didn't show up, they would have wondered why. Yeah. It'll be okay. I want to help. Terrible. I need to help. Cause you did you, the reason you why he's dead. Place? You feel guilty, don't ya? Name is Sarah. I've got to remember that. Now, there are a number of other precautions people take. Nailing the window shut, for instance. With a child in oh, the They're going to get the house that Why? the people were just killed? Well, they'll be nice for these these things. They'll, they'll try to convince you to let them in. And children tend to be more susceptible. Yeah. Of course. Like, all this is normal. Well, the people who survive here are the ones who adapt. Yeah. How exactly Can't try to fight that? it forever. They adapt to the notion that the earth could just open up and swallow them at any given moment. They go on with Damn. their lives because that reality is a... Hey, um, I'm, I'm sorry, what, what's that? Yeah, is this... Is he going in there? <clears throat> we call that the box. Oh, yeah, that's where the guy next to jail is going, the dad. Actions or negligence leads to the death of a resident in town. The only punishment for that crime is a night in the box. Oh, uh, so you stay alive, but you got these things come at you. You should keep one of those talismans in there, right? No. 
Damn. How many times have you used it? Tonight will be the first. Oh, they've never used it before. Damn. No. Come, your house is just yeah. up there. That's not creepy at all. Looks like somebody's already living here. You gotta have to tell them um, some pe two people just died here, including a kid. Yeah, you definitely have to clean this up. Yeah, face the truth of what happens. It was a child? Holy fuck. Megan yeah. and her mother's passed out drunk the other end of town when it happened. This is what happens when you break the rules. They need to see this so they know. No, Jim, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do that right now. You make it seem like we have a choice. Jim. Jim, this is fucking insane. It, it is, but... That woman uh, and her little girl were raped. Why are, you, why are you so eager to take any of this at face value, Jim? Uh, you saw a person get shot and keep the walking and smiling. Outside the RV, I can still hear yeah. And we are stuck. So we better figure out a way to make the best of it. I would honestly choose the house in town. You're right by the diner, which is nice. You can make it up, pretty it up. You have all the time in the world. You, you've got no job to do. Yeah. Of course. It is kind of insane to just put him in a box to die. I'll just be a few minutes here. And acting as if... Take whatever time you need. It's his fault, but... He, it, it, let him learn from it. Is it really awful to have... Bad to have one more person to help out around. This is the first time ever doing it, so. All right, little guy, give that a try and let me know. How He's got a little crutch, aw. <laughs> Feel good? It hurts in my arm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Fair. There you go, buddy. My three. Two, one, boom. Here you go. He's adorable. <laughs> Why are you doing this? What do you mean? They're really nice they people. Know us. <clears throat> They're a community here. what we do. Yeah. What else are you going to do when you're stuck in this place? Hate each other? Hide from each other? You got to be nice, kind, helpful. So, I mean, usually, you know... You have some type of prop that lets you know which direction to go, but this is, this is just some next level shit. You're such an idiot. Mystical nightmare? I mean, I don't know about you, but my nightmares don't usually serve breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose you're gonna tell me you got chickens roaming around in the big bed. Yeah, but the chickens, the, the cows, we don't, we don't really know where they come from. Oh, that's weird. Mm. They just get chicken and cows from nowhere? It's actually just not bad for a nightmare. Provided so. by the town? So the town is like letting them stay alive with animals to feed them. This wasn't get anything. From but they still kill them at night. Interesting. A, a clue or some kind of cryptic. Maybe grow a brain, direction. dude. That's what you need to get. You know what? Never mind. Was that the guy from the other car? He's gonna get himself killed. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be too sad about it, honestly. Well, she's. Like I said, denial is a major part of our family tree. <laughs> Same here. Same in my family. What is he doing? Is he burying something? A certain location or digging something up? I can help you look. I'm good at finding stuff. <laughs> I'm not looking. I'm checking. What are you checking? Yeah. You ask a lot of questions. Notice how he has a limp? Is it the same leg as his injury? Just go away. Have you seen the boy who lives out here? Hmm. It's good to have friends. Okay. Wait. <laughs> hey, come here. Uh, what? I'm checking to see if they've moved. 
What? What moved? Yeah. The trees. Huh? Really? Yeah. Ethan. Ethan, what the fuck? Get back inside. Mom told me to watch you. You won't watch it very well, will you? Oh. Yeah, I guess you better then. Will you let me know about the trees? I'll keep you looped. <laughs> Ethan. Did the trees just like move? See that friend of yours. Tell him Victor says hello. Victor. His name's Victor. Gotta remember that. Don't talk to him. Why? Because he's creepy. No, he's not. <laughs> he's checking to see if the trees move. Yeah, that's totally normal. <laughs> Honestly, fair. He does creep me out, too. But I think he is homeless. Yahtzee. All right, Toby. Um, I don't know about what this. What's down here? It's people, someone should be watching him. Should they put the dead bodies down there? Holy shit. What? Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. What's locked up in here? I don't... Oh. What the... Oh, God. What the hell? Did, did they capture one? And they just, like, leave it under this rock and it's a... What? But... What the... He just left the door open. Toby, you're a fucking genius! Someone should be watching him. Because <laughs> I have a feeling he just let something loose, leaving all the doors open. Oh. He's an idiot. <laughs> Who knows about that little place though underground? There was no supposed to. I built a goddamn box. It's supposed to be a turret, yeah. It's supposed to scare people. I he never thought he would have to do it one day. But yeah. now, when you said you're gonna do it, you have to commit to it, or the deterrent's not working now. Let's say you absolve Frank of all his crimes. Then what? Yeah. Maybe put a talisman in there. I mean, you warned him. On several occasions, very publicly. Oh, uh, so he has, he did get multiple warnings. How much weight do you think the rules that hold this town together will carry? The priest is right. Aren't you supposed to be talking to me about the virtues <laughs> of mercy? Not this guy, and I like him. <laughs> he wanted to be told. He wants to be told hey, I prefer to not do not it. To put a, that's what I prefer. I'm not gonna stand here and pretend like this is an easy decision. Yeah. Great. What do you think happens when people realize you lack the conviction to use it? Exactly. You're a terrible fucking priest. <laughs> you know that? He's just not telling you what you want to hear. He wanted him to back his decision up so he could be like, well, he agrees with me. Theoretically, if you put a talisman in there, you lock the doors, he should be safe. Unless they can tear it open. I don't know how strong they are. Or can they if the talisman is in there? God damn it! He's starting to regret his decision. Talisman, yep. There's a little shack. Oh. About 100 yards beyond the tree. Oh, he's telling him to run. And you make whatever life you can out there. He's not gonna do it though, is he? The guilt. What are you gonna tell everybody? Yeah, they just escaped. I don't think people are gonna believe that bullshit. Should you choose to join with the people of Colony House? To live for today because tomorrow is not guaranteed. You will select the flower. So really two different types of philosophies here. Like many of uh, us here, I'll... Uh, sorry. You mind if I, uh... <laughs> Just yep. interrupt this nice speech. And if we're not willing... Oh. Oh. Frank? I'd like to 
say a few things if that's all right. Dying man, give him his final words, you know. Forgot that if I'd just been a little stronger. We should just let him go. He's learned his lesson. He shouldn't have to die for one mistake. Christmas morning waiting for us all when we got home. I would say the death of his wife and child or punishment enough. We take care of each other. Just remember what you're living for. Quite the speech, though. But the only two things that I love in this world are gone. I just I want to see my girls again. He wants to die. Damn. Wait! No! Don't go! Frank! This asshole needs to be slapped, <laughs> punched, kicked in the nuts, any of the above. All right, okay. Easy, easy, easy. All Pick right. one. Fucking let me go. Ow! Pick what one. The fuck? Pick one. I can sue you. Yeah. Ow! Okay, all right, okay. All right, all right. Go. Okay, go now. Ah, damn it! Ah. Ah. Oh, you have no idea how badly you just fucked up. Um, you, I have no idea. I am. I don't think you realize how badly you fucked ruin up. You. I am gonna fucking ruin all oh, of you. Oh lord. Let me show you something. Show him your, his dead friend's body. I think that will. Hit home, hopefully. Are you living in town or, or colony house? Town. Yeah. Sorry. You each have to say it. Oh. The I daughter's gonna town. choose colony house, right? Ethan. Town. Julie. Colony house. Yep. What? I knew it. No. He's under eight. Mom, it's fine. No, it's not fine. Come and stay with your family. You don't have to do that, Julie. I'm not, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to my daughter. <laughs> oh. Why are you doing this? She chose your rules, boy, not mine. No, you know what? It's okay. I, oh. I, I changed my mind. I go, I choose calling. No, it's not it's just... fucking nice. Okay, look, we're gonna fix this. There is okay. nothing to Will fix. Will you shut the fuck oh. up? Oh. Ooh. The tensions in this town. We'll be going now, too. So, uh, thank you for coming. Okay, I'll take care of them. She's, it's such a stubborn teenage move. I don't want to be with my parents. I'll be anywhere else. But then at some point, she might come to regret that when her family, she can't live with her family and she's not allowed to change her mind. Uh, your, your boy, the sheriff, crossed the line. So just... Oh, shut up. This guy is so annoying. No one is trying to be cruel to you. But you need to understand what's going on. Yeah. Did you hear what I just said? I'm not interested. Are you listening to what he's saying? Lost its interest for me the second that asshole put his hands on me. Look. Believe. Okay, you know what? This isn't funny anymore. It's not funny. It was never funny. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where is he going to live? <laughs> is there a house where he's going to stay at the motel, I'm guessing? Toby? Yeah, Toby's dead. As said previously. <laughs> he was fully in denial. It's finally hit. Oh, God. Watch something weird happen. Watch them not kill him or do something else. I don't know. Take him. Something off. Something weird is gonna happen tonight. Because this is the first time doing this. Something's gonna weird. Something's gonna happen. I don't know. If you really want him to survive, I would have just hidden a talisman in there somehow. Do everything I can. Promise me. Yeah, Frank. I promise. <sighs> well, bye, Frank. I'm ready. Does it lock or just close? All right, it does lock. Let's see how this affects the town. First time I were doing it, it could turn the town against 
him and the rules, it could reinforce the rules well enough that everyone follows them stronger and harder now. Oh, this thing. Radio. It's starting on its own. I don't like there. I don't like when that happens. Why? Why? Well, at least they have some music in this town somewhere. New house, who dis? So they say they clean that kid's room though. They've got to start getting their routine of locking all the doors, windows, closing the blinds. This is your new life now. Copyright's gonna hate this song. Oh, is he coming to stay with them? This is, uh, this is Jade. Jade? That's his name? Hi, John Jim. Are you and Daddy gonna sleep in here? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's good. We're all going to be together. Yeah, just in case. He's new to this, he's a little kid, so he doesn't open a window. She's right up the hill. You can see her anytime you want. Except okay, at nighttime. Okay. Just during the daytime. You still see each other. It's not like she's moved to another country. All right. Last I remember, it was chapter three. Start from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, it has been a while. You're gonna be reading this book over and over, but I love it. As we always do, let's welcome our newest family member. Here's to Julie. Julie! This is what Julie wants, I guess. She better love it, because she's going to be arrested for life, possibly. She better be in, like, a threesome with those two. I'm honestly just sit down, close my eyes, think of anything else. Meditate. I don't know. Pacing around feels just like more stressful. Oh god. Here we go. They all seem to be dressed like old fashioned. You know what I mean? Like every time I've seen them, it feels like they're dressed old like. Is this like a dead town where tons of people died long ago? And now they haunt the place as creatures. I don't know. Oh, they're giggling too. I don't like that. Mm -mm -mm. It's okay, Frank. It's okay. Oh, yep, they just hit right through that. Holy shit. Uh, part of me was like, maybe they just can't get it. Nope, they just break through that without the talisman. They can just break through windows, doors, whatever. Damn. Well, that was quite the episode. We had things happening. The family uh, every, and all the new people had to make a choice to go to the um, house, whose name I already forgot, and, or to live in the town. I personally, as I said, would go to the town. Get your own place. Hope, well, it depends. I guess the family got their own house because they're family. Like the other guy, you have to go to what, just live in someone's house. Maybe, well, they, they look like there's a motel there. Maybe there's not room right now or they have to make room. I don't know. But I'd be like, I don't, it, I guess it depends. If I got my own place, Yes, town. If I had to share with people anyway, I'd probably say in the bigger house because there's more people and there's likely you'll find a friend there. Then you don't know whose house you'll be in with where you might not like, become friends with the person. I would want to be friends with the person I'm living with and have some people I would like have a friend group with. 
And at least they look like they kind of like smoke and have a little fun. So it feels like it could be a little fun. Um, but yeah, if I had my own house, that's a whole different story. I would use that easily because yeah, <laughs> seal those windows tight, seal the doors up for the front door, make sure it's all closed and everything all day long, basically. Or at the very least, you open it during the day and you have a time, set time every day. You do it, close it, get a routine down and make sure, triple check. If you have, definitely if you have a check. But Julie clearly chose the other house. I think she's young. They look like more fun. They're friendly. She doesn't want to be around her family. She's a teenager. But will that decision be something she wants forever? But would the town people really, like, would all these people be like, if this kid wants to go live with her family, are they going to stop her? Like, are they really going to do that? If this teenage girl was like, I made a mistake, I need to be with my family, with my mom, my dad, like, you think they would just stop her? I don't know. I feel like they shouldn't. You should be able to change your mind at some point. You shouldn't be forced to be in that decision forever. Definitely if you're stuck here for the rest of your life. You should have a choice. Like, what if two people in that house end up getting together and having a baby and they need more room because now they're a family should they be allowed shouldn't they be allowed to like move to into the town with a house just maybe maybe again uh also we have the one new guy i don't honestly forgot his name it was something weird wasn't it i'm gonna look it up but um he clearly did not believe anything and he was in full denial until he finally saw his dead friend's body. It took him that long for him for it to hit him. I'm like, damn. Uh, he was acting like a complete douche, though. Jade. For a salt name, Jade. Explains a lot about his character already. But yeah, Donna told Jade, and he didn't believe it. He, The thing is, he found that thing in the cellar. Who knows about that? There was, like, a symbol on the ceiling, a closed door, and he saw a creature under a boulder that screamed it was alive. It looked like one of the creatures they had that comes out at night, and did they capture it under a boulder? But when he looked again, it wasn't there anymore. What the fuck? What is this cellar? What, who knows about it? What are the symbols? Does anyone know about it? There's gotta be someone in town that does. I feel like there's someone in town, besides this, the girl who did the stabby stabby, I feel like there's someone in town that knows something. Maybe working for them. Maybe is the reason why they're stuck there, or has more knowledge than anyone else has shared. I don't know who, but I feel like there's got to be someone. I don't know who I'd suspect of that, though. Not as of now. Hmm. Very intriguing, though. Um, Frank had to go into the box, which is this thing that they created that if you or the reason someone got killed or something like that happened because of you and your, you messed up, you go into the box, but they've never done it before. You go into the box overnight and the things kill you, but they've never had to do it before. And this is the first time, and he tried to give Frank a, like, a way out. And Frank was like, I, I don't blame him. He his wife and child are dead. He wants to be with them now. He doesn't want to keep having to survive anymore. Definitely if you had, have to go into the middle of the woods and hide. Like, what kind of life is that? And just be alone for the rest of his life. I get the sheriff was trying to help, but it is true, as the priest said, he made this promise he needs to follow through with it, or everyone else will stop listening to him and listening to the rules. It's just one of those things, he has to be the bearer of bad news, he has to be the tough one, there has to be that one person who will do what is necessary, no matter what, and will do what others don't want, what you need to do to survive. And that has to be him, even though it's hard. I get it. But he has to. Whew. Okay, I can't wait to watch the next episode. I'm gonna have to wait, God, a freaking month or so. So long. Because <laughs> it's, I, I'm on, this is coming out like probably end of September-ish. Uh, no, like mid-September on Patreon. End September, early October-ish. Prob probably early October-ish for YouTube. I'm filming this now. It's August 15th. So I'm way, way ahead because I finished all my other requests for August and I was like school's about to start up in a week and I want to get ahead so I'm kind of getting these ones done while I can so that way at least for September I don't have that in my mind as much while school started up and it's getting a little crazy you know so 
getting a little ahead. It feels good. <laughs> but that means I do probably will wait a bit longer than I normally would to have to watch the next episode. The next two, probably. My guess. You know who you are who requested this. My guess is next month you'll probably want the next two episodes, which I don't mind at all. Um, but yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. My reaction. And I hope um, the person who requested this, I hope you enjoyed it too. I love the sport. Thank you. Um, love you guys. You guys are great. Remember, if you want this fully uncut and you want to get ahead on all my other shows and the Patreon exclusive shows too, go to the link down below in the description box for Patreon. Uh, they're on sale right now. If if you're watching this on YouTube or Patreon, it's on sale. Two of the two lower tiers are a little cheaper than they've been. Um, I don't know if they'll stay at that tier or not. We'll see. I might change it. But at least for the next couple of months, they'll be there. Okay? So... Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I um, hope you're having a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.